the Russian company Lomo, based in St. Petersburg and operating as a subsidiary of the Kalashnikov concern, has finalized the development of the initial prototype of a domestically produced augmented reality display known as DDRM. This device is designed for use within modern onboard avionics systems and will be incorporated into the radio electronic equipment suite of the new MC-21310 passenger aircraft. The development of the DDRM represents an important step toward achieving technological independence within Russia's civil aviation sector. Historically, systems of this type were predominantly available only through imported equipment. The new device responds to the demand for indigenous solutions that not only replace foreign counterparts, but also meet modern standards for safety, efficiency, and operational reliability. An augmented reality display is a device capable of projecting essential information directly into the pilot's field of view without requiring the pilot to shift attention to separate instrument panels. In avionics, such systems are used to enhance situational awareness by superimposing critical data onto the real external environment, thereby improving the pilot's ability to assess conditions and make informed decisions. In aviation use, the DDRM presents flight and navigation data, alert and warning messages, and other essential flight parameters. This collimated image, meaning the visual information appears as if it is located at an infinite distance, is projected onto a transparent screen. The result is the impression of a single unified information field superimposed over the actual external view from the cockpit. The primary benefit of this approach is that the pilot no longer needs to frequently shift focus between the outside environment and the instrument panels. All critical information is immediately available within the direct line of sight. This is particularly important during complex maneuvers and during approaches and landings in adverse weather conditions, such as fog, precipitation, or low cloud ceilings. This method of presenting information significantly improves overall aviation safety. Several years ago, aircraft cockpits already featured displays with similar functions, although these systems were almost certainly of foreign origin. For example, early images of the MC-21300 cockpit, which was the earlier version of the aircraft, showed two such displays. At that time, during the late 2010 decade, it was highly likely that this equipment was imported. The large-scale import substitution program associated with the MC-21 involves replacing more than 80 foreign systems with domestically produced Russian alternatives. These include control systems, auxiliary power units, fuel sensors, and the entire avionics suite. This level of localization not only reduces dependence on international suppliers, but also strengthens the technological autonomy of the entire aircraft program. The transition to domestically produced avionics systems reflects a strategic decision shaped by the geopolitical environment of recent years. During this period, access to foreign components has been increasingly restricted by sanctions. As a result, Russian engineers and developers have been both compelled and motivated to create competitive solutions within the country. One of the central objectives of the DDRM is to enhance flight safety. In aviation, safety depends not only on the structural integrity of the aircraft, but also on how effectively the flight crew interacts with information. Traditional instrument panels require pilots to periodically divert their gaze from the windshield, increasing the risk of missing important visual cues from the external environment. With an augmented reality display, the pilot can see all critical information seamlessly overlaid onto the real-world view. This improves the speed and intuitiveness of decision-making by reducing eye strain and enabling better allocation of attention. The benefits are especially evident during landings in poor weather conditions or in aerodynamically demanding situations where every second is crucial. In severe operating conditions, including strong crosswinds, limited visibility, or unstable weather patterns, pilots must rely on both instrument data and visual references. In such situations, an augmented reality display becomes a critical tool 
by aligning internal sensor data with external visual cues. This alignment substantially increases the safety of takeoff and landing operations. At the core of the system is a transparent display onto which information is projected using collimated optical technology. Collimation ensures that the displayed image appears to be located at an infinite distance, which reduces eye fatigue and improves readability. This is particularly important when pilots must rapidly assess both their surroundings and the aircraft's status. The display itself is a complex electro-optical assembly that includes light sources, projection units, lenses, and communication interfaces connected to onboard processors. Data is generated by the aircraft's avionics management system and transmitted to the display as visual layers superimposed on the real environment. Augmented reality technologies are advancing rapidly across many sectors, including mobile electronics, industrial systems, and automotive applications. In Russia, augmented reality glasses are already used in industrial environments for equipment maintenance, allowing technicians to see instructions and technical data directly in their field of view. Aviation, however, demands far higher levels of reliability, precision, and safety, making avionics-grade augmented reality systems significantly more complex. The development of the DDRM was made possible by combining LOMO's engineering expertise with the industrial resources of the Kalashnikov concern. LOMO has long-standing experience in optics, photographic equipment, and precision instruments, providing a strong foundation for creating such an advanced avionics component. Equally important is the integration of the display with the aircraft's onboard systems. This requires close cooperation with aircraft manufacturers, the designers of the MC-21, and avionics software developers. This interdisciplinary approach ensures smooth compatibility between the display and existing flight control and navigation systems. In recent years, the MC-21 program has undergone a major shift toward domestic production of critical components. More than 80 foreign systems have been replaced with Russian alternatives, significantly lowering dependence on external suppliers. Import substitution, however, involves far more than the physical replacement of components. It also includes the creation of new technologies, the strengthening of domestic scientific and industrial capabilities, and the formation of new supply chains. Developing advanced systems such as augmented reality displays requires cutting-edge components, highly skilled engineers, and close coordination among multiple industrial organizations. In the future, the technologies developed for the DDRM may find applications beyond civil aviation. Potential areas include space systems, automotive engineering, and military electronics, or any field where the real-time presentation of critical information is essential. The creation of Russia's first domestically developed augmented reality display for the MC-21-310 represents a significant milestone in strengthening technological independence within the country's civil aviation industry. Developed by LOMO, the system enhances flight safety, particularly in difficult weather conditions, and forms part of a broader import substitution effort aimed at building a fully domestic avionics suite for a modern passenger aircraft. This achievement not only improves the position of Russia's aviation industry, but also demonstrates the capability of domestic engineers to deliver competitive, advanced technological solutions in one of the most demanding areas of modern engineering. If you liked the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.